Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2018, slot 1 DILR was based on a multi-layer pie chart. It says that uh, this multi-layered pie chart shows the sales of LED television sets for a big retail electronics outlet during 2016 and 17. The outer layer shows the monthly sales during this period with each level showing the month followed by the month's sales figures. The sales figures have not been given in the chart for some months. So you can see that for some months the values are given like January 80, February 60. However, for some months the values are not given to us, okay. Then we have uh, with each level showing the month followed by the month figures and the middle layer shows the quarter wise aggregate sales figures. In some cases aggregate quarter figures are not given next to the quarter. So quarter wise, this is Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on, right. So for Q4 and Q2 the values are given, Q1, Q3 the values are not given. Similarly, the innermost gives the annual sales, innermost gives the annual sales. It is known that the sales figures during the three months of the second quarter, April, May, June form an arithmetic progression. Okay, so this is an AP, that is what it says. And three monthly figures in the fourth quarter of that year. So these two cases are of AP of 2016 these are in AP okay so using this information we need to answer the questions now one thing we can straight away fill it here is since this quarter sale is 150 so middle number will be 50 so the sales are 40 50 60 and here the quarter sales is 360 so middle number will be 120 so these values can be filled rest of the values how do we calculate it See, July, August, September, the sales is given, we can add and get the quarterly sales. Jan, Feb, March, the sales is given, we can add and get the quarter one sales. Now here, we can add these three, we will get this quarter sales. Similarly, the values are given, we can add and get the quarter sales. If this quarter sales is given, these two values are given, we can find December sales. So like this, all data can be obtained, just that in the graph they have given, deliberately removed some of the data points okay so uh, individually we will find out data required for that question and answer them what is the percentage increase in sales in december 2017 as compared to december 2016 so do the december 2018 uh, 17 if we talk about total is 500 this is 150 plus 170 320 so december 2017 the sale is to 180 and here it is 140 because this is given in AP. So increases of 40, 40 by 140 is 2 by 7, 2 by 7 is 28.57 percent. In which quarter of 2017 was the percentage increase in sales from the same quarter of 2016 the highest? So we will need to find the quarter sales of the different uh, quarters of 2017. 16 to get the quarter by quarter comparison. Now if you see quarter 3 clearly it is decreasing. So no need to find the quarter 3 values. Okay. So quarter 3 is cannot be the answer. It is saying that increase in sales from the same quarter of 2016 the highest. So it is decreasing. Similarly uh, others are all increasing like quarter 2 is but quarter 2 if you see the increase is quite low. Low increase. I mean we can observation. By using observation, we can reduce the number of calculations. The increase is there, but it is less. Now, Q4, it looks a significant increase and Q1 to Q1 is also looking a significant increase. So, let us find Q1 and Q4. So, Q1 in 2016 was uh, 240 and here it is 260 plus 140, 380. Okay, increases of 140 by 240, which is 7 by 12 or 58.3 percent. Now in Q4, the value here was 360 and it has become 500. So increase of 140 by 360, which is definitely less than 58 percent. So clearly we can say that Q1 had the highest percentage increase. Okay, so 140 by is less than 40 percent. 
During which quarter was the percentage decrease in sales from the previous quarter sales the highest? So percentage decrease from previous quarter. So we will check Q4 of Q. We will check only these given options with respect to the previous ones. Q4 of 2017. So from previous it is increasing. It is saying percentage decrease. Okay, so that is obviously wrong. Q1 of 2017. We had calculated this value. We said that this value is 380. We will calculate this value also. 140 plus 160, 200. Okay. So Q1 of 2018 means 380 to 200. Okay. And uh, then Q2 of 2017. Q2 of 2017. Uh, this is, sorry, this Q1 of 2017 is this one with respect to previous one. So Q1 of 2017, there is an increase. So this is also incorrect. Q2 of 2017 was this, when we are talking about, it decreased from 380 to 200. So somewhere around 50%, slightly less than 50%. Next is Q2 of 2016. So 2016, the first quarter sales are 240. And it became 150. So decrease of 90. 90 by 240 versus 180 by 380. Now this is roughly 50 percent because uh, like 9 by 19 so more than uh, like close to 50 percent and it is less than 40 percent. 24 into 4 is 96 so this is less than 40 percent so clearly Q2 of 2017 is the highest. During which month was the percentage increase in sales from the previous month's sales the highest? So we need to check month on month increase in sales and with respect to the previous sale. So March of 2016, 2016 this is March, so 60 to 100. So that is 66% increase, 66.67% October of 2016. So, October of 2016, 55-200, that's definitely more, more increase, so this is not the highest. October of 2017, so October of 2017, 70 becomes 150, more than 100% increase. And March of 2017, March of 2017. March is, uh, February is 100, March is 160. So obviously like if you see all other values are less than 100, you need not calculate it. It is more than doubling. So October of 2017 is increasing by far the highest. So that is the highest percentage increase from previous months.